This is something I want all of you to be very careful of on LinkedIn. And I'm taking a quick break to make this video before I get blocked because I will be blocked for this. Exploiting the very real frustrations that job seekers have is a very common business model to gain engagement on LinkedIn. And we saw this over the pandemic. A lot of people who were utilizing LinkedIn as a way to grow their business started to do the LinkedIn playbook, which is where they find the hottest topics, the things that generate the most engagement. They have absolutely no interest in the topic itself. And in most cases, they're actually outsourcing it to a social media person who's just coming up with it, posting it at the right times and using the right hashtags. And we're gonna go through a live example so you can review it and not engage. There is not a single person who could proudly say, oh yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with any recruiting process, it's all going as planned. Everything from uh, ATS is being overwhelmed by too many candidates, recruiters being too overwhelmed, manager reorgs, interviews that became larger and larger because more and more employees wanted more say, so now every employee or every candidate gets better vetted, homework assignments, all of these are very realistic and very valid frustrations that job seekers have. However, there are posts that are designed to manipulate you. They want you to comment, they want you to share, they want you to like, they want you to you know, type that angry vent because you just got ghosted, but they don't care about the topic itself. They have absolutely no interest. In many cases, it has nothing to do with their business model. What they want is your engagement. Now, the problem is that hiring managers and recruiters both can see where you posted in your recent activity. Now, of course, I, I'm not making any judgment if someone gets ghosted and has a negative experience and they vent about it on LinkedIn because someone makes that post. It's, that's a very valid reason for frustration. However, I can also see why a recruiter who's looking at a candidate and sees the recent activity and sees how much they're trashing recruiters in the last three of their comments might not seem like an ideal candidate anymore. But the people that make these posts do not care whatsoever. And like I said, in many cases, it's not even them that's posting. They probably have hired someone from Fiverr from all the way across the world who's just uploading from a playbook. Find places to vent, but do not give someone else engagement and business who does not care whatsoever about the topic at the risk of your own. So this guy made this post today, Frank or Francis Pardo. And this is a textbook post. As you can see, there's nothing organic about it. It just feels like it was pre-written with all those spaces and utilizing the right language. All of his recent posts, every single day at the same time, posts a very similar thing that is designed to tap into the frustration of job seekers. Take the human out of hiring, salaries, the one below this is that employees should be able to hire their managers. So the only experience this person has is a CEO of a company that outsources remote virtual assistants. This is the only experience he has. Offshoring remote assistance is one of the most exploitative business models because they pay international labor very cheap while utilizing US standard contract rates. Never allow yourself to be manipulated by someone who's just using your frustration to build their exploitative business.